Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. A gorgeous Sunday morning. 77 degrees already. Expecting a high of around 88 today. It's going to be a warm one. Supposed to be some showers this afternoon, later on in the day. It's gonna be partly cloudy this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. It's gonna be a bit breezy out on the beach this morning. It's gonna be some wind noise. Nothing I can do about that. Absolutely gorgeous out here. is the middle of Area 4 Beach at Del Norwegans up in North Naples. Beautiful walk out the boardwalk. Who knows what we're going to see this morning. Maybe we'll find some neat shells. Maybe we'll get lucky and see a dolphin or two. I'm not, right now I'm not feeling any of the symptoms of red tide. That's a good thing. Let's walk down to the water and see what we can find. Check in with Roy, see how he's doing. The last time I was out at the beach was Tuesday. It's been a while. Got a lot of things to do this week. Like there's some shells along the shoreline here this morning. Maybe we'll get lucky and find something really cool this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow, here's a Big fat slipper shell over here. Pretty worn out. That's a big slipper shell. That's a good sized slipper. Nice little breeze blowing out here. I forgot to check the tide chart before I came out this morning. I don't know where we're at as far as the tide goes. If the tide's coming in or going out right now, I don't know. There's a little olive shell over here. That's an olive shell, missing the tip here. Beautiful shells, the olive shells. I look back up the beach. I see Roy way down there, making his way south here towards me. Look 
looks like the tide's coming in. So this nice little line of shells here along the beach, right along here. It's, as the tide comes in, it just kind of pulls them back out into the water. A lot of little sandpipers running around on the beach. There's one of them there. Couple old jewel box shells here. These are pretty common, the jewel box shells. A lot of times you'll find these jewel box with, they call them spiny jewel boxes. They have big spines on them. They look like little porcupines. Those are really cool. The spines are really fragile, so they break off very easily, so they're not that common to find them with the spines. There's a little piece of finger coral on the beach, just a little tiny piece over here. Part of an old whelk shell it's laying over here. An old lightning whelk, piece of a lightning whelk. There's an old fighting conch shell. They call these twisties when they're worn like this. It's part of an old Florida fighting conch shell. I'm gonna keep this old, this broken whelk. I'm gonna hang that on the shell tree. Up at the north end of the park. Oh boy, the tide is definitely coming in here. another old Florida fighting conch shell. These are great shells to hang on the shell tree. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the shell tree. There's a, some old dead trees we have up at the north end of the beach here. And people hang shells on them in memory of a loved one that's passed away. Others, they'll hang a shell on the tree. They'll say a prayer or they'll make a wish. But the most common reason they, people hang the shells on the trees is in, they hang a shell in memory of a loved one that's passed on. There's a neat little shell. I forget the, I always forget the names of this, this shell here somebody knows the name of it go ahead and post it in the comments They're cool little shells nothing living in this one we always before we take a shell home from the beach make sure there's nothing no living animal inside of it there's a little worm tip shell down here it's the tip of a worm that's actually the tip of a worm shell. I call that a wormy tip. Oh, here's a cool little shell. Here's a nice little keeper down here. This is a baby horse conch shell right here. That's a baby horse conch. That's a cool little shell. A little baby horse conch. Those things get huge, the horse conchs. It's just a little baby. That's a nice little find this morning. Some more little worm tip shells. The worm tips are fairly common. 
Maybe we'll find a worm shell, show you the rest of the shell, not just the tip. There's all kinds of neat little shells. When you just stop and look. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? These things are the size, some of them are the size of the nail on your pinky finger. Very, very tiny. Yeah, there's a little tiny slipper shell. Why do they call those slipper shells? Well, when you turn them over, see they look kind of like a little slipper. There's, wow. I don't know what that was. Thought it might've been a piece of a little tiny apple murex, but no. idea what that is. Just another little shell. <laughs> I mean there's so many small neat little shells that get washed up on the beach and they just come and go. Oh there's a worm shell. Here this is this is a worm tip and it has a little bit of the worm shell still attached to it. Sometimes you can find these, oh, 10 inches longer, 10 inches or longer on the beach. That is a little piece of the shell. Hey, yeah, good morning, how are you doing? <laughs> how are you guys doing today? Same here. Oh, uh, two of my friends here just, we're taking my picture on the beach. Mossy Ark shell down here. A little baby Mossy Ark. Well, that breeze is really starting to kick in here. Let's see where Roy is. I think he's coming up behind me here soon. He should be catching up to me. Yep. Oh, he's got a friend walking with him down there. Be catching up to me any minute here. It's beautiful Sunday morning, Del Norwegans. Hey, if you're new to this group, to the live feed, be sure to let everybody know where you're watching from. Introduce yourself. That's what this is all about. It's about friendships here. A lot of great people follow my beach walks. A lot of uh, a lot of followers have become friends through this in person, not just on the internet, but actually be, have become personal friends. I've met quite a few people out here that were watching our beach walks and they just had to come down and say hi to us. There's another one of those shells. That's the second one I found. This morning, I don't know what these are. No idea what those are. By no means am I a master uh, shells or anything like that. I just repeat what I hear. Same goes for any marine life that I find. If I know what it is, I'll share it with you. And if I don't, hopefully somebody watching knows what it is. I hear Roy coming up behind me. Hey, how are you doing, Roy? A hundred years. A hundred years? Yeah. John? Hey, how are you doing, John? Nice to meet you. Same John, here. John's going to be a ranger, park ranger out in uh, Grand Canyon. Oh, okay. Yep, I'm heading out there in a couple of days. Awesome. So. Came down something? here for hurricane repair and then the So that's for, over. for our national. That's yep. federal. Yeah. You're going to be federal. Yeah, nice. Absolutely. Well, that yeah. sounds like an awesome job. It is going to be fantastic. Yeah, 
<laughs> you know, oh yeah. Talk to the visitors and they tell, explain things to them and the whole bit. So, that'd be wonderful. Well, it's quite an honor. Yeah. No, it is going to be a blast. I'm gonna love doing that. So, you know, he uh, said he, he might he, come out. I he, said I'd buy him dinner if he did. There you yeah. go, Roy. Yeah. That'd be that'd be <laughs> I was a nice trip him for about you. when we ran the river there and down through the narrows. And yeah. Almost drowned. Oh wow. Yeah. He's this guy's got some stories, John. <laughs> Roy has some stories. That's for sure. Yep. Glad the guide insisted on coming with you. He's yeah. he's our he's the mayor of our beach here. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice place to have here. Yeah, old well, John. He's oh, been yeah. a ranger before, so it's quite an honor to be out there. And, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. Never been to Grand Canyon. Before. No, that is that. I've I've never been there myself. Yeah. Flown over it, but I've never yeah, yeah. put foot in you on know the what ground. He was there. telling me that the redwoods. Some of those redwoods get to be thousands of years oh, old. Oh yeah. I didn't know that. There's, oh I know there's one and some where you drive through it. They cut yeah. like a, right. a, a tunnel yeah, that's through it. That's not even the oldest one. Oh no! It just, happens to, it just happened to have a big crack in the bottom of it, and then you know people got the idea that you know you drive through it, so they widened it a little yeah. bit. But my understanding is that that has fallen down because oh, know, has it? The, the the parts that were holding the tree up got so skinny, and you know it just wasn't really supporting the rest of the tree much. Get the right wind in the right direction. I mean that was, that was around for a long time. Oh, I mean yeah. my parents had like home movies of it. Yeah, yeah from before drove. I was even around. Right, and back <laughs> when I was there in the 1990s, it was still around. Wow, yeah, we drove, recently. we drove wow. through, and we were. Said, tell him about the old turtle with the bullet in his back. The what? Oh yeah, I um, mean he was talking about how old turtles. Came. Remember that old uh -huh. turtle up the beach? Yeah, the other yeah. Day. about 20, maybe 20, 25 years ago, somebody in somewhere in the southeast. Um, caught a snapping turtle uh -huh. and you know they they ate it you know that's why they were out they were out there hunting. right uh, there was a there was a defect in the shell and they were kind of poking around in it and after they got di to digging in it they pulled out a slug oh my god they took in to uh have somebody take a look at it, and they said it was actually a bullet from the civil war Oh my lord! So this thing can obviously you... had been very young at the time, but those turtles can get very, very old. A snapping so, turtle. Yep. Yeah, one of the alligator snapping turtles. Those things are ferocious. Oh, yeah, yeah, you are. don't want to. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to mess with them. Yep. You hook those on a line. You just want to cut the line. Yeah. <laughs> what did you, you? There was a turtle on the beach the other day. Yeah, a dead one up on the end there. Oh. oh they buried it yeah. then. What a shame. It was a big sea turtle from the red tide. I suppose it was. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. yeah what a shame. Huh. It's getting to be nesting season here. That's what I hear. May, May it starts is when yeah. our nesting season starts. That's, that's what I hear. I've seen some so. tracks going up into the dunes, but it could be, you know, just, uh, you know, smaller turtles or other animals. You saw some today? That, well, it was just the, yeah, I saw some today that were about that that far apart, so they're pretty huh. small. Yeah, that's kind of um, land turtles don't get that big. I've seen them no. wandering by. Well, there's right, some, there right, could be no, some not early... nearly as big as the sea turtles, yeah. But that the... could be like a very young female, you know, that's not experienced yet. Could be, You know, could coming be. up on the beach. I mean, it's a little early, but. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the Where'd you see the that at? One that I saw was that was down there before, further? Right or? at the beach access, right at the end of the state Oh, at the very end. Yep. By the way, we're on Facebook Live. That's right. Oh, great. That's right. I told them. Uh, 20, we're out here. People are I do a beach here. walk, and I just, whatever I see out here, I let people know what it is. If I know what it is, and nice. Roy tells stories to everybody, he shares yeah. his life with them. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, it's fun. Nice. Well, it looks like the tide's coming in. It is. I'm going to. Yeah, well, you, Roy, there. I'll catch up with you later. Okay, John, right. when do you leave? When do you start uh, your. Tuesday. Tuesday? Uh, yeah, I leave your Tuesday. Well, good luck out there. All right. If I don't see you again out here. All right. Well, you know, if you drag, you whip them. You there you go. There. All right, John. It's good meeting you. Roy, I'll catch up with you a little later. All right. Awesome. John, he's heading out to be a park ranger, a federal, a national park ranger at the Grand Canyon. That was very interesting. Nice gentleman. The tide is definitely coming up here, starting to pull the shells back into the water. It's a little piece of a cockle shell. A little baby cockle. Oh, that was sad. Roy well, said there was a sea turtle out here on the beach the other day. Dead sea turtle. I don't like hearing that. There's another one of these little shells. I don't know what they are. They look like little acorns. That's the third one I've seen here that I picked up.
gorgeous out here. The temperature's going to be, oh, up around 88 degrees today. Going to be a warm one. There's a couple little, oh, here's a cool little worm, another worm shell. It's a nice little worm shell. Very cool. That was a worm shell. Here's a little piece of worm rock. Oh boy. The water's gonna be pulling all my shells back. The waves are gonna be pulling them back into the gulf here. Another one of those little shells. What are these things? Right, I just saw a little kitten's paw. And a little jewel box. That's a nice little jewel box there. Right here. See some of the little spines on it. They're not very long. They're broken off. That's a nice looking little jewel box. All right, these little shells, who knows what they are? They are everywhere this morning. Who can tell us the name of these shells? I just, they are, there's just piles and piles of these little shells everywhere. Who knows the name of these shells? Everywhere I look, there's just a pile of them. There's one here. There's more of them over here. One here, one here, one here. What are these shells? And why are they in such abundance here this morning? This is what I would like to know. <laughs> Very cool. Worm rock is so neat. There's a, that's the worm rock. Over here, I just I see a old piece of an old big murex. That was a big lace murex shell. It's old and worn now. Up here. That's an interesting looking worm shell right there. Some neat worm shells on the beach this morning. There's another worm, there's the tip of the worm shell. A little whelk, a little lightning whelk shell. Missing the end there. A little lightning whelk. With some great little finds here this morning. I want to give everybody a quick look around. Partly cloudy today, gonna to have a high of 88. That water temperature, 79 degrees, really warming up. Some little waves breaking on the sandbar here. It's gorgeous as we look north up the beach. This is Del Norwegans Pass State Park up in North Naples, Florida. A mile of white sandy beach here. No homes or condos, all natural. Love this place. 
I'm just walking south, seeing what I can find, seeing what the tide has washed up on the beach. So far, we've been seeing a lot of worm shells, worm tips. They are everywhere, the worm tips. A lot of our common shells here, the mossy arcs, we see a lot of them. A lot of old fighting conch shells, worn fighting conchs. Another worm tip over here. A couple cockle shells. The two cockle shells. Oh my goodness, another really, really nice worm shell. That's a great one right there. There's worm tips everywhere. See, usually the worm tips, which is on the left, that's fairly common. But then finding the nice worm shells, that's, that's nice. That's a nice little find. I already found three of those worm shells this morning. Oh, rats. Here's a piece of a shark eye, a moon shell over here. Where'd it go? I think it was a shark eye. No. Oh, no. It's a piece of an old slipper shell. The moon shells are beautiful shells. I haven't seen any of those yet. Doesn't mean they're not here. so many things to see and look how small these shells are but these that's just is amazing there's just piles and piles of these little shells here these are just all piled up all along the beach I have no idea what they are here's a nice little turkey wing Turkey wing shell. But look at all these little things. They look like little acorns. I don't know what those are. But they are everywhere. You know what those are? I mean, these, they're everywhere this morning. These I've little, never seen them. they're piles of them. They're kind of cool. Yeah, I, I have no clue what they're called. I've never but, seen them. Yeah, and they're everywhere. Huh. There's an old conch shell here. I've never seen them. Well, and I mean, they are just in piles all along the edge of the beach here. Cool. <laughs> yeah, it is cool. And they'll be gone tomorrow. Yep, they'll probably be gone in an hour or two. Yeah. Oh, here's a crucifix. This is the sh an old catfish skeleton. And that they call that a crucifix. You can see the crucifix there. That's pretty cool. This is actually the skeleton of a sail catfish. But there's the crucifix. That is really cool. The crucifix. Well, let's do some more shelling before the tide comes in. Another old worn out fighting conch, a mossy arc. Yeah, 
there's a piece of a apple murex shell right there. Just a little piece of a little apple murex. Hey, here's something. That's a piece of an old um, crown conch right there. It's just part of a crown conch, an old crown conch. Beautiful shells, the crown conchs. Ah. Blue crab claw just washed up. The claw of a blue crab. Look how blue that is. Wow. Those are delicious, but they're a lot of work, those blue crabs. Hmm. Fun morning so far, finding some neat little things out here. As we walk down the beach. Quite a few folks out here shelling. Hopefully they saved something for me. It's an absolutely gorgeous morning out here. Well, shells are thinning out here. I think I'm going to turn around and head north, go back up the beach, up, walk up towards Wiggins Pass. See what we can find. You're new to the group here to the live feed introduce yourself let everybody know where you're watching from i have a hard time seeing the screen out here with the reflections the glare on the screen but i do like i like reading all the comments when i get back home and i love to see the little conversations going on between our friends here that is awesome Okay, be sure to hit the share button. Little old worn out cockle shell. And yeah, the waves are definitely coming back up here on the beach. Starting to pull the shells back into the water. Wow, there's an old slipper shell. That's a big one. That's a big one there, kind of worn out. A slipper shell, why is it called a slipper shell? Well, when you turn it over, it kind of looks like a little shoe, a little slipper. You find these all up and down the beach. Another little worm tip, tip of a worm shell. You'll find these all over the beach as well here. Very common. That's the tip of the worm shell. Earlier this morning, I picked up a couple worm shells. There's one there. That's a worm shell. Let's see if I got another one. I picked up a couple of them. There's another nice worm shell there with the little tip on it. I'm seeing some really neat stuff out here. There's another worm shell down here. 
it's missing the tip. That's a worm shell. Very cool. It's a nice piece of a worm shell there. There's a nice little cockle. Little cockle shell. Boy, that one's got some really nice color in it. It's a beautiful cockle shell. The mossy arc. Yeah, these mossy arcs are another common shell on the beach, the mossy arc. I'm hoping to find a little moon shell. Maybe a lightning whelk or a... I found some broken, some worn out and broken murex shells. I'd like to find a nice little murex. I haven't found one of those lately. Oh, there's a big piece of a cockle shell just washed up on the beach. old cockle shell. This looks like a piece of a whelk shell over here. Yep, it's part of an old lightning whelk right there. There's another piece of a lightning whelk. Beautiful shells of lightning whelks when you find the whole shell. Smaller one. More worm shells, more worm tips. All kinds of things you can find on the beach here. Here's some kid's little little necklace. That could be a hazard for one of our sea turtles. That could actually get around its neck or foot. I'm just gonna sit that up on the railing on one of the boardwalks. Some little kid will spot it, I'm sure. There's a neat little piece of worm rock. Find all different ooh, worm rock and another worm, another worm shell over here. There's worm rock and a worm shell. How neat is that, huh? Lots of worm shells this morning. I guess the shell of the morning, the shell of the day is the worm shell. Later this morning, I'll catch up with Roy on my way back. See what he has to say. See if he's got any anything profound for us this morning. Or a thought for the day, maybe. A word of the day. We haven't seen Roy since last Tuesday. really starting to quiet down here in southwest Florida. Our northern friends are all starting to head home if they haven't already. You can really tell by the traffic. The traffic is really thinned out down here. Nice change. There's a little whelk, a little tiny one. Pretty faded out. This is about where we started when we came in and walked south. 
So now we'll walk up the beach and see if there's anything new. Hey, if y'all are looking for a good breakfast at a good price, the VFW up in Bonita Springs. It's right up by the dog track on K9 Drive. They got an awesome breakfast buffet for seven bucks. You can't beat it. It's open to the public. Their Sunday morning breakfast buffet is open to the public at the Bonita Springs VFW post. Need to check that out. I think I'm gonna head up there after my beach walk. you haven't done so, download your free Nonstop Naples app for your mobile device. We're slowly adding new restaurants to it. We have a rewards program there. It's expanding slowly, but download that. It's free, the Nonstop Naples app, Nonstop Naples. You can get more information at nonstopnaples.com. We're sponsoring a huge Cinco de Mayo party at Felipe's, which is up in North Naples. Felipe's Mexican restaurant, May 5th. Gonna have a lot of bands up there. It's gonna be great. Check that out. The shells have kind of thinned out along the beach here. It's kind of funny, you know, the different areas of the beach, you know, you find a, pile, a big pile of shells in one place and then none in another. Another old whelk shell. a pear whelk. Look at that. These are really thin. Very fragile. Just a part of one there. Another great candidate for the shell tree. I already picked up the shell that I'm going to hang this morning on the shell tree for everyone that can't make it to the beach to hang their own shell. Got this big piece of a lightning whelk here that I'm gonna hang on the shell tree in a little while when I get up there. Beautiful out here. There's our Australian pines with the osprey nest right up there. It's at the north end of area four. See that dark spot right up there? That's the osprey nest pair of osprey in there, mating osprey. Hopefully we'll have some little baby ospreys. It's sad to hear that a sea dead sea turtle washed up on the beach the other day. Probably fell victim to that darn old red tide that we've been having which I'm not experiencing any of the symptoms of red tide right now that's a good thing looks like the fish have been cleaned up off the beach all the dead fish an old piece of worm rock here.
Yeah, I'm saying it looks like the tide's definitely coming in here. this morning here in North Naples, Florida. Those of you just checking in, be sure to introduce yourself to everyone. Let them know where you're watching from. We've become a little family here. This is our little beach community on Facebook. We've had a lot of erosion here up at the north end of the park here over the past several months. Hurricane Irma dumped a lot of sand on the beach. It actually covered up all of the sea oats along the dunes. They're finally starting to come back. And now you can see, look at all the beach that's been washed away here. This has just happened over the past several months. This is the north end of the park. We're in what's called Area 5. We're on Area 5 Beach at Del Norwigans Pass State Park. <coughs> mm, might have just got a whiff of red tide. There's a piece of finger coral. Be probably like that underwater, just a piece of the finger coral. Wow, is this a scallop shell down here? Oh, part of a scallop. Gosh darn it. That was a big shell. That would have been a beautiful scallop shell. It still is a beautiful shell. Scallops, they have those little wings down at the base. It's part of a big, beautiful scallop shell. You can find these scallops in all sizes and colors here along the shore. Another very common shell here is the shell of the Florida fighting conch. I haven't seen any live ones this morning. I've just seen a lot of the old worn out fighting conch shells. I have been seeing a lot of these worm shells on the beach this morning, especially down in area four. A lot of these worm shells. Haven't seen any sand dollars. We have a lot of sand dollars here off, just offshore live sand dollars on the sandbar. A lot of times you'll find, find them washed up on the beach. You see the sun's peeking in and out of the clouds here this morning. It's gonna be 88 degrees today. Expecting rain later this afternoon. The water temperature is 79 degrees. Beautiful out there. Pretty rough I get I think though out in the Gulf. A friend of ours went out fishing yesterday. He said it was three to four feet. See all the erosion here. It's crazy. Just 
difference from our normal tides. We just had some extreme highs and high and low tides. So they've been wreaking havoc on the beach here. They don't do anything to re-nourish the beach. This is a Florida State Park. They just let Mother Nature run her course. I did see Roy earlier this morning. I'll be checking back in with him towards the end of this morning's beach walk, see what he has to say. Our good friend Roy, 93 years old, a Navy veteran. He was in World War II and the Korean War both. He was an officer in the Navy. He's always got some interesting things to talk about. There's a cool little shell here. You find a lot of these on the beach. This is called kitten's paw. Those are fairly common, the kitten paw. near the end of the beach, the north end of the park. This is where the fishermen hang out. This is the only place you're allowed to fish at Del Norwegans. It's the north end up in Area 5. The north end of Area 5 at that. No swimming allowed up here. This is where Hurricane Irma knocked down a lot of our trees. You know what, I got a, I picked up this whelk, part of an old whelk shell this morning. You can see there's a few people have some shells hung here on this tree. Again, a lot of folks hang a shell in memory of a loved one that's passed away. I found a nice little piece of a lightning whelk that I'm going to hang on the tree. This is for you guys. For everybody watching that can't come out to the beach. I'm going to hang this shell right up here for you. If I can get it on there. That's up there really well. So that's your shell, everybody. Those of you that couldn't make it out here today, that's for you. I'm going to take a picture of that. I'll post it a little later. So bear with me. I'm going to lose the signal here for a minute. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. You can only do one thing, photos or videos here. That's your shell right there. The shell's for you. We've got several of these trees along the beach. This is... one of them. Good. Those were our Florida Fish and Wildlife Rangers patrolling the beach. They come out and check for fishing licenses, make sure everybody's behaving themselves. Great guys. What a fun job, huh? Coming out and being in the outdoors every day another one of our shell trees over here this one's this is the most popular one right now this one's loaded with shells it's covered in shells
for some reason, people come out here and they take the shells off the tree. I don't know why they do that. I mean, have a little respect, people. People take their time to hang a shell, and a lot of them, these shells have some significant meaning to them, so please respect that. I had hung a shell for my business partner and friend, JP, who passed away a month ago right here in this spot. And I see in the past week, somebody had to take the shell off the tree. There's no way the shell is just gonna jump off that branch. Some people are just imbeciles. Got, it's all about themselves. Look at all the shells on this tree. This is the north end of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. We call it Area 5, Area 5 Beach. There's five parking lots. One is the closest to the main entrance, five the furthest. Area five is where Wiggins Pass is. That's just around the bend here. Well, the pass is actually in front of me. But the Wiggins Pass Beach is just around this bend here. Some, uh, some more of the trees that Hurricane Irma knocked down last September. It was beautiful, it's still beautiful, but it was beautiful here. We had a nice canopy of trees that kind of hung out over the water. It was beautiful. And Hurricane Irma came and did her thing. Knocked them all over. Nasty woman. A lot of times our signal will drop out up here. So if that happens, I will be back. I just have to move down the beach and reestablish a connection. So bear with me. There's nothing I can do about a bad signal. I'm at the mercy of my, my, my cellular provider, Sprint. There is no Wi-Fi out here. Yeah, it looks like there's some fishermen up here. You can see how the beach is washed out up here. Well, there's a nice big cockle shell down here. Wow, that's a beauty. That is a really nice looking cockle shell there. Look at that. That's a gorgeous shell. We do have live cockles out here, obviously. If you find the shells on the beach, that means there's live ones out in the water. I guess people eat cockles. I don't know if they're, they're a clam or a mussel. I don't know what they're classified as. This is just the shell of the cockle. This is a fairly large one. They get a little bigger. But beautiful, beautiful shells, the cockle shells. down to the south. It's supposed to rain later today. Expecting a high of 88 today. Water temperature 79 degrees. A little breezy up here at the pass. Oh, here's a conch shell. I mean, this is the first one I've seen this morning in fairly decent shape. Florida fighting conch. This one's a little worn. Oh, there's another one down here. This one's in a little better shape. 
nothing in them. Both of these are empty shells. Florida fighting conks. Beautiful shells. Always remind everyone, check before you take a shell home from the beach. Make sure there's no living animal inside of it, especially these conks. We have a lot of live ones that wash up on the beach. And if you find a live one, just help it out and set it back in the water. Don't throw it out. Just set it back out in the water. Same goes for, for sea stars. There's times where the beach is just covered with sea stars. So set them gently back out in the water. Beautiful up here at Wiggins Pass. There's an osprey flying overhead. I don't know if you can see it up in here. It's coming up right up over me. It's out there flying around looking for a fish. For something to eat. That's Barefoot Beach on the other side of Wiggins Pass there. Gorgeous beach. There's a, oh, 6,200 feet of beach over there at Barefoot Beach Preserve. A lot of walking. It's almost a half a mile walk down to the end of the beach there from the last parking lot at Barefoot Beach. Beautiful morning, huh? Quite a few people showing up here. On Sunday morning. Another Sunday morning in paradise. Back to the wide mode here. There's been a lot of people out here shelling this morning, so what few shells are left up here on the beach are they've been pretty well picked through. Fishermen heading, heading home. See if I can make it down to the end here without losing my connection. Let's keep our fingers crossed. And we'll turn around and walk back down the beach and check in with our friend Roy. There's a coconut washed up on the beach. <laughs> Got something on the line over here. Get something? No, got away. <laughs> Thought he had something. He must be stuck on the bottom.
tide is definitely coming in here. You can see the current moving here if I just hold still. snagged on the bottom. Yeah, we lost our signal for a minute there, our connection. This current moves really fast through the pass here. It's totally against the law to swim here in the pass. It's really dangerous. A lot of boat traffic and strong currents. Even sharks swimming around in there. Although our 93-year-old friend Roy did swim across here one time, and he got caught and got in trouble. He got a ticket for it. Yeah, leave it to Roy. This is Wiggins Pass. I'm gonna snap off a quick photo, bear with me. Don't go anywhere. All right, I'm back. Thanks for hanging in there. Very shallow out here. You can see the waves breaking on the sandbars. Very, very shallow out there. Well, yeah. Nice breeze hit me in the face now walking back down the beach. Our osprey is still flying around out here. Oh, it looks like he's got a fish. Yep, got a fish. No, it's hard. He's got something there. Yeah, he's got a little fish. Hard to see in the camera there. He had a little fish in his talons. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, it's broken. Earlier this morning I said, boy, I'd sure like to find a nice Murex shell. Well, there's part of an Apple Murex, <laughs> half of an Apple Murex shell. You can see the inside of it. Oh, well, close. I'm halfway there. Maybe I'll find the other half somewhere down the beach. <laughs> the Apple Murex. Apple Murex shells and base Murex shells. It's kind of neat though, being able to see the inside of it. It's kind of different. I'm gonna keep that one. Well, again, we lost our connection. I don't know why that happens out here at the point. It happens all the time. The cell towers are not far from here either. They're just just up the river here, around the corner by Vanderbilt. The cell towers are on one of the condos down there. I don't know why we lose our connection here. <laughs> Beautiful out here though. Sunday morning in paradise, that's for sure. Now let's keep moving down the beach. See if we find something we miss. Always something different here. Lots of fish skeletons on the beach from the red tide, sadly. I can hear that wind.
Coming right up from the south, it feels like. Hey, if you live in the area, especially in North Naples or Benita, a great, great breakfast buffet at the VFW Post in Benita Springs. It's real close to the dog track on K9 Drive. The Benita Springs VFW Post. There's our fossil hunters, our great white fossil hunters. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's fun jumping the waves on the yeah. jet skis. Oh, yeah. So how are you this morning? Good, good. How are you? Anything in your bag? An empty bag. Oh, empty bag today. Oh, nothing. Just nothing. Little, little bits and pieces. Oh. Little bits and pieces. Well, you got another couple weeks. Yes, we do. Uh, yes. <laughs> 10 days, something yeah. like that. Oh. Yeah, that's right. It's a short month. Yeah. Yeah. Only 30. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Longer than February. That's right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Well, good luck. Thank you. All right. Day. See you later. Bye -bye. That's our friends, Mike and Mary from New Jersey. They are into collecting fossils. A lot of really neat fossils on the beach here. They found some really interesting things. Actually, you can find arrowheads out here. You can find really, really, really old shark's teeth if you have a good eye. There's some, there's something cool, another piece of worm rock. That is so neat, the worm rock. Okay, we lost our connection for quite a while there. Thank you, Sprint, for your wonderful service. I always enjoy paying my bill for things that I don't receive. If you come to Southwest Florida, don't consider Sprint as your phone carrier. <laughs> I was just showing you this piece of worm rock when we lost our connection. That is such cool stuff. You can see the little worm tubes in there. Let's see if I can get some better light on it. That is so cool, the worm rock. You know, the one thing I can say about Sprint, though, is... When I complain to them, they do give me a little discount on my bill, so I guess they try, but it still doesn't make up for lack of service, especially in this day and age. You'd think they'd have their act together by now. This worm rock is so cool. But we're up in Area 5 at Del Norwegans Pass State Park, if you're just joining. Heading south. I'll give you a look around here at the beach real quick. We started about 8 o'clock this morning down in Area 4 and made our way north up to the end of Wiggins Pass. We walked about a third of the beach. The beach is a mile long. And those trees, they got knocked over by Hurricane Irma there. She kind of tore up this end of the beach. Beautiful morning though, absolutely gorgeous. Probably 80 degrees by now, expecting a high of 88. Some showers later today. I haven't seen any dolphins. A lot of times we'll see dolphins swimming just offshore. Nice breeze blowing right into my face here, coming right up out of the south. Whoa. The tide's definitely on its way in here. It's starting to pull all the shells back into the water that were along the shoreline here.
A lot of shells right along here, but most of them are broken. I think I got a little whiff of the red tide just now. Not near as bad as it was, that's for sure. getting set up for our beach talk. What time do you start? Uh, at 9.30. 9.30? That's every Sunday? Uh, pretty much. Pretty much every Sunday? Neat. So there you go. If you want to learn about the things that you can find out here at the beach, one of our volunteers is set up up at Area 5. And he starts his talks around 9 30. that's free included with your admission to the park there's a lot of great programs here at del norwegans but he does kind of the same thing as barbara not so intense not as many shells as our friend barbara had on would bring out to the beach you're gonna miss barbara she moved back to minnesota But go to the park's website, Google Florida State Parks, then look for Del Norwegian's Pass State Park, or just Google Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. And once you get on the official park website, you'll see all the, the events they have here listed and the free programs. Lots of great stuff. Lots of fun stuff for the kids in the summertime, too, when school is out. They're always looking for volunteers at our state parks, not just here at Del Norwegians, but anywhere. So if you're retired, even if you're a seasonal resident and you're looking for something to do, if you like the outdoors, consider volunteering at one of our many Florida state parks. Of course, this is my favorite one here because I live just down the street from it. <laughs> How lucky am I, huh? It's really easy to get to this park. If you're on I-75, you get off at exit 111, which is a Mockley Road. Exit 111, a Mockley Road. And you just go west on a Mockley Road, take it all the way to the end of the road. The Mockley Road dead ends into the entrance of the park. Couldn't be any easier to get to. Now they finally opened up Vanderbilt Beach Drive. Vanderbilt Beach Road, I don't know. Vanderbilt Beach Drive. That was closed for two years for bridge construction. They finally opened that up, so it makes it a little easier for the people in Benita to get down here. It's nice listening to these waves. So peaceful out here. Beautiful colors, gorgeous colors this morning. I love this place. I'm gonna snap off a quick photo, so bear with me here. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. I'm sorry. It took so long there taking a picture. I'm back. Thanks for hanging in there. I see we lost a bunch of folks. I'm sorry. That's a look north of our beach. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I had to take another picture. What can I say?
almost down to our friend Roy here. He's the highlight of my morning. I don't know about you, but I always enjoy ending my beach walks with a, with a quick little conversation with our friend Roy. Hopefully he's still here. I don't see him out on the beach. He must be up under the trees. This is looking south down the beach. Where is our buddy Roy? How's it going today? Good, how are you? Good. Where are you fixing to make this morning? We're gonna make a sand sculpture, not a castle, but a sculpture. A sand sculpture, yeah. Yeah. Any idea what it's gonna be yet? We're gonna do an ice cream cone that's upside oh, down. Oh, wow. It's gonna melt. Do, do me a favor. When you when you get it all done, yeah. take a picture, a couple pictures, go on Facebook, look for Southwest Florida Television, oh. and share the pictures. I love sharing that with, with our viewers. I wish I could hang out here all day and do a time lapse of you making the thing. That would be fun. Get a picture of your logo. I'll make sure I get you guys. You can. Uh, can yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get a shot of that here. Yeah. Social media. Southwest Florida Television. You'll see yourself on there. We're live now. <laughs> and here's where you can find SoFlo Sand Vibes. Check them out. Some neat sand sculptures. You guys enter the sand sculpture contest? I'm, going to this right. year. I'm, I'm an amateur. I've been doing it about a year. And uh, are you by yourself or do you have? Oh, uh, usually my wife and kids are with me. Oh wow. Um, we're actually about to have our third child. So oh, congratulations! But I'm Rob, by the way. Nice to meet you guys. My name's Shannon. Shannon. All right. I'll check out your Facebook page. Definitely give it a like and a share. Y'all have a great day. All right. We're gonna see what Shannon makes here later today. That'll be very cool. So flow sand vibes. Very cool. So many great people out here. So many nice people out here at the beach. And here is our friend Roy speaking to nice people. Up under the shade of the big Australian pine. By the osprey nest up there, you see the osprey nest up in the top of the tree? This is where you'll find our buddy Roy, up at the north end, parking lot four, area four beach. Sitting in the shade of the tree. Hey, how are you doing, Rob? Well, this looks like it's become your regular spot, huh? Well, it's pretty nice here. It is a nice spot. Yeah, nice shading, the breeze is blowing in. Oh Looks boy! Like a rain cloud over in there, but yeah, we're gonna get some rain later today. Kind of disappeared now. Earlier there was a dark cloud of rain away out over the ocean. Yeah, but it's beautiful now. It's gorgeous now. How's everything going for you? It's good. Been busy. Yeah, busy, I haven't busy. seen you for quite a few days. I know. What you been doing? Well, I've been hanging in there, enjoying the journey as always, and everything's going great. Been getting lots of hugs. 
Oh yeah, I've been getting good hugs. How's your garden growing? Garden is growing, got little flowers, and oh, it's lovely. Yeah. So that's a lot of fun too. Now you probably, how many tables do you have full of flowers now at home? I don't know, I got some on the table and some on just on the ledge above the pool. There are quite a bunch of them. Wow. So it's, it's amazing to see those teeny little sprees sprout out and the big sprouts grow up and they with grow all the so leaves fast. and the little buds and all. They grow so fast now. Miracle, here. miracle it. of life. Love Isn't it? it? Just one of the many miracles of yeah, life. Yeah, one of the millions of miracles. <laughs> Gosh. So you know, any dolphins lately? Have you seen any Oh, dolphins? yesterday. Oh, oh really? we had dolphins yesterday. You oh, my wouldn't goodness. believe. Out at the end there, their lady fish were so thick they, that guys caught them on every cast. The lady fish. Every cast yeah. they pulled in a lady fish. And the dolphins were right out in the stream there, just staying in one place, just gobbling away. And, oh, wow. And uh, they come up and go a big poof. And then down here I saw one dolphin. He flew way up in the air and oh, he wow. flipped a fish. Oh, he, yeah. He did it twice with... in a row. Wow. Flew out of water and went boom and threw the fish. Oh, that sounds like that was neat to see. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh. Was it a big one? Big dolphin? No, not real a smaller big. smaller one? But he shot up straight, kind of just about uh, out of water and then he flipped the fish. Wow. Uh, uh, uh. That's neat. Yeah. I guess, I guess they had so much to eat they could just play with it. So have you seen Mike lately? Uh, no, I haven't. I, he gave me this shirt, actually. That's where I got this on my birthday. All right. <laughs> well, I've, a lot of people say hi. A lot of our Facebook friends say hi. And well, I appreciate that. They send, they send you a hug. They're, they send well, their that, love and hugs. It's wonderful of them, wonderful of them. And they all want to know what, what the word of the day is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Everybody always wants to today. know the yeah. word of the day. Well, I was thinking of telling you about, but John told you all about it. It'll, longevity of some some living things it's kind of yeah. an interesting thought in fact i don't think he mentioned it he told me the the oldest tree there's kind of a called a bristle cone pine or something like that up in the higher reaches of mountains uh -huh. five thousand years old five thousand years old wow. for a tree isn't that amazing yeah those red ones he said red ones get to be two or three thousand yeah which has really flabbergasted me it's amazing when you when cool. you put your mind to thinking about that five thousand years old if the for tree a tree. those trees could talk huh yeah i mean that's just stories. amazing well that was pretty interesting that snapping turtle he told us about yeah with a civil war musket ball in that his, is amazing in his backside so That's that was things lived for a long time. Civil War was eighteen something yeah. or other, eighteen sixties or something. Yeah, so that's amazing that those snapping turtles live that long. <laughs> oh boy! Especially with a bullet in its back. Yeah, <laughs> they got some pretty solid shells. Those oh, guys. those snapping turtles are evil. <laughs> They'll take your finger right off. Really? Oh yeah. Oof, God. They're nasty critters. Uh. We got a lot of those in Florida. Really? Yeah, they get pretty pretty good size too. Yeah, stay away from them. Stay away from the crocodiles. Yeah. He seemed like a nice guy, John. Yeah, I think he's going to do well as a ranger yep. out there. So yeah. we had a, a new a new girl at the gate this morning. Really? Yeah, Sarah. I had never never met Sarah. her before. Good. Some new blood coming in. Oh, yesterday we came down bright and early and the gate was open. I thought, what's this? There was all kind of cars pouring in. They had that big race. Oh, the paddle boards. No, no, what? they just, they had a oh, run race on a the... A relay race on the beach? On the, on the road and on the beach. And oh, wow. Five kilometers or something. Oh, was that the relay for life? I don't know what it was think... called, but it was... It was, they really weren't running too hard. It was kind of a family thing. Did they thing. have blue shirts on? And no, they just had a little placard here. Uh, so, huh. But that was fun, and we went up on the tower to see sunrise, and the sun came up yeah, over the trees. Yeah, you get a good view. You get to see it up sooner on the tower, up there. So yeah. That was a lot of fun. Have you ever been up there before? Yeah, I have, but Jenny's never been up on a tower before, so she really enjoyed uh, it. We had a good time up there. In fact, I said my prayers on top of the tower just when the sun came up. Well, there you go. Well, kind of a really nice... You know, that's uh, a nice place to watch sunrise. Nice spiritual feeling, yeah. Yeah, that's a good view. I never thought about going up there for sunrise. Yeah, it was really pretty. Yeah. Really pretty. So life is a glory. It is. A, it's always a glory. <laughs> so what are you going to do today? Anything special besides hang out here in paradise? Well, I'm going to take a bunch of plunges. The water's getting nice and warm. 
Yeah. I haven't seen any dolphins today, but boy, no, yesterday. I didn't see any dolphins either this morning. Oh, yeah, but was it you were telling me about the manatees? Uh-uh, somebody saw some manatees. Two, two manatees up north. Oh, it was Dennis. He was walking down here. He didn't fish. He walked instead because there's no fish. But he said he saw two manatees with their triangular head looking up oh, at nice. him. Oh, nice. So not I, the concrete manatee, the iron manatee. No, not the concrete manatee, the iron manatee. <laughs> <laughs> That's still that there. That one's always there. We can always get a picture of that I one. I saw a little swirl. The tide didn't quite low enough to expose right. it, but I, I saw it swirl in there, so it's still <laughs> swimming around. That's funny. <laughs> All right, well, heck. I guess I'm going to mosey on. I don't know what I'm going to do. I've got a lot of work to do. I'm... Got work piling up on for me well, right I'm now. I'm happy for you. That's yeah. good. Yeah, but I miss coming out here. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen you in I love quite a while. Out to the beach. Wondering how you're doing. Oh, I'm alive. Atta boy. I know. I I keep tabs on you. I drive by your house. Keep don't, tabs don't on you. Don't forget about Hollywood. Oh, Hollywood. <laughs> that's, that's your ultimate destiny. Oh, someday. Yeah. A movie maker. Oh, that'd be something. Yeah, you, you can do it. You can do it, I'm telling you. All right, Roy. You have a great Sunday. Okay, Rob. It's always good seeing you. Always next time I next time you. next time we talk, we're gonna want we're gonna want two things. A profound statement and a word of the day. Goodness me. Yeah. Aren't, so. aren't they both the same? Oh no. I'm gonna let you off that easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, All right. You I'll have let, a great day. I'll give it some contemplation. There you go. That can be your word, contemplation. <laughs> but don't contemplate too long about it. Don't forget the concatenated cogency. The con concatenated cogency? Yeah. What was that? What did that mean well, it's again? it's no good to be cogent unless it's concatenated. You know oh, that. of course. Yeah. Absolutely. There's no question about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Roy. See you later. Have a good day. Yeah. Oh, boy. Our good friend, Roy. Always got something good to say. Always has a smile on his face. Always happy. That clouds are starting to get a little thicker here. It's supposed to rain later today. Beautiful morning. Oh, there's an osprey just flying into the nest. Actually, just landing, just flying right over me, right over my head. Whoa, I think it's going to fly and land into the nest. Let me see if I can. I don't know where it went. Let's see if I can zoom into the nest. Where's the nest? There's the nest. I don't know if that osprey was coming back to the nest or not. Let's see if it comes back. It flew right over top of me. I guess not. I don't see anybody moving around in the nest. Usually the female kind of hunkers herself down in there. The male flies around. Oh, there's, there she is stretching. There you go. Just behind that branch. Hang on, let me move there. Where's the nest? Just saw her stretching her wings out for a second. It's a bit of behind the branch. So she's definitely up in there. Oh well. Again, this nest is up at the north end of Area 4, right up by our friend Roy. Beautiful morning here in North Naples, Florida. Pretty breezy as I walk south. That wind's coming up out of the south. Blowing right into my face here. Let's see 
see the sun coming in and out of the clouds now. took the camera and blew it right around. Really windy out here. Beautiful colors though. The greens and the blues and the whites of the clouds. Wow. gorgeous out here this morning. Well, I want to thank everybody for watching. Be sure to tell you all your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Remember, I don't get paid to come out here and do this. If you want to make a little contribution, it always comes in handy. Helps pay the phone bill. Be sure to take some time, check out all of my photos and videos. Sure you're gonna find something you like here. When you do, hit the like button and hit the share button, please. Well, have a great Sunday from wherever you might be watching from. I know we got friends watching from all around the world now. It was so neat. Southwest Florida Television. I'm Rob Stan. God bless.